Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough, just really really quick, of this kind of recreation, sort of, <laughs> of the envelope album I had shared a few weeks back now. Um, I will be doing the frame card to match as well. Uh, that's a work in progress. Uh, but for the time being, I wanted to share a walkthrough of the album itself and then my next videos should be the matching tutorials. It's not really very difficult to make at all, I promise. Um, so the album measures the same, so it's five inches by six inches by two and three quarter inches. Um, I didn't do the same type of front just because I didn't really know what I wanted to do as a shaker element for the front of it, uh, but some of the pages in the paper pad have these really pretty um, words on them. So I took these ones. Um, it was just a, a single strip from other paper that I had cut up for pages. Uh, so it just said, there lived a beautiful princess, and I cut it up to put on my cover. Um, this is a die from Simon Says Stamp. I think it's called Stacked Hearts. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and then I just made a couple of really quick and simple flowers using a small Fiskars flower punch and some glitter drops from Pink Fresh. And then this had all these little hearts that also cut out with it, so I just kind of put a few around it. And then I left my spine plain. This is essentially the same thing that I did on the album that I shared before. So this was a phrase, word, whatever, um, that I created on Canva and then cut out. And then I just matted it on some white cardstock, the same white that I used for the album. And I popped it up on a piece of chipboard just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then the back was just left. Plain. My closure is really just plain. This is some ribbon I had in my stash um, from Stampin' Up and I just found that it, I felt it went with it fairly well. Um, so I just attached one to the front and one to the back and that was my, that was my closure. So there are 10 of these in here. Um, because there was 10 envelopes in the package of envelopes and frame cards. I will say that somehow along the way after I opened the package I lost one of the envelopes. It was there and then I lost it. <laughs> so I just went ahead and made one. Um, I don't know if you can really tell it's this last page here um, but I just made one using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch. So I think it worked out okay. <laughs> Um, so this is essentially the same kind of design. It's just 10 pages of the envelopes. I used a stack, the stacked binding method, which I will walk you through in the tutorial. And then I just took all of these words that I created in Canva and I either just glued them on and made tuck spots with them or I popped them up on some adhesive foam strips and uh, gave it a little bit more dimension that way. And then throughout, I put in these little photo mats and some more of the flowers. And then in each pocket, each envelope, I guess, um, there are these extra little photo mats or journaling cards or, you know, both. Um, and then I did create these little tuck tag spots here so you can do some more tucking in there as well and these um, envelope pockets are large enough that you could most definitely add um, more inside them if you wanted to add more tags or more photo mats so there's plenty of space um, the tutorial is a little bit longer than it would take ordinarily to just make the album because I gave you lots of additional details and kind of really walked you through everything. But if you're familiar with making albums, this should be this should come together fairly easily for you. And I love the fact that you can buy these envelopes and the 
So these are the frame cards that we'll be using for our next um, next album for the next tutorial. And you can buy them fairly inexpensively from Michaels because they're on sale quite frequently. Um, they come they come in like ivory white and craft. I'm not sure if they come in any other colors, but they're really convenient for making, you know, albums like this. Um, so the paper pad that I used for this was an old one from Die Cuts with a View. Um, this is the Once Upon a Time stock. So we'll be using more of these papers in our next album as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's walkthrough and as always, if you are interested in seeing more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will have the tutorials up hopefully really soon, and then we'll work on the framed card tutorial as well. So, thanks everyone!